In this video, I'm going to show you how we can avoid storing our application sensitive information in a source code or in a local configuration file. The most important thing is that you should never store sensitive information such as username or password in your source code and you should always avoid using your production secrets in development and test mode. For the purpose of this demo, we are going to store our connection string which contains username and password into the environment variables of the system. So for this, I'm going to copy this connection string from here. Let's remove this from here, command X, and let's head over to the terminal. So in order to change add values to the environment variables uh, in Mac OS, uh, you need to edit the bash underscore profile file so for that I'm gonna go to open bash underscore profile file file which need administrative permission so sudo and I'm using a nano editor for editing that file sudo nano till slash dot bash underscore profile and of course you have to provide your password And I'm going to store our configuration, our connection string with the key name MBC demo connection MBC demo connection strings MBC demo equal to let's paste our environment paste our connection strings here and another important thing while adding values to the environment variable is that you should avoid the spaces between your key and values like this so don't put any spaces around equal sign so with this our environment variable is set so let's close this file with Control x and of course we want to save this yes after making changes to the environment file variables you need to restart your terminals let's close this and restart it again of course if you want to check whether or not the value is stored in the environment variable you can always type env and from here you can see that our connection string mbc demo contains the value of our connection string which points to our mbc demo database now in order to use that environment variables connection string we need to use environment dot get environment variable and provide the key that we use to store our connection string in the environment variable let's save this and let's run our application dot net what's run of course i need to move to the directory containing our project so right now i am outside the directory that contains the project so let's see the into documents and dot net let's move inside our mbc demo and let's do dot net run So let's refresh our server. And here is our application of and running after we store our connection string into an environment variable. Now to verify that, let's register a new user. Test2 at gmail.com. Password. Yeah, and you can see that our new user is registered here all right now we have used the environment class and gets uh, used its static method to access the 
connection is string stored in our environment variable however we can extract this logic into an extension method so that we can reuse it anytime we want to so let's extract this method and add this extract this method as an extension method so I'm going to gonna go here to the extension and a new class it's called connection string let's give it a more generic name environment B environment variable extension dot cs let's copy the name of this class let's see and let's create the class namespace it's in the namespace of mpc demo dot extensions and let's do public class and paste our class name this class is going this is an extension this class is going to contain an extension method so we need to make this as a static class static class and let's add our static extension method in this case we are going to extend our i configuration so let's go here and public static the method will be returning the connection string from environment variable so the return type is string get connection string from environment we are going to extend configure i configuration so we need to write this i in i configuration configuration and this method takes one input parameter the name of the connection string name of the key for the connection string that we use to hold in our environment variable and I'm going to make this parameter as a default parameter so let's import the namespace where the icon configuration is alright now we also need a namespace for system using SVSM system which contains the environment class so from here we can do if name if string dot it's null or empty of the name then we get we return environment dot get environment variable and we pass the name of our key all right but however if we explicitly supply the connection key name in our method then we are going to return the environment variable environment that get environment variables with our name so fix my indentation so what this method does is if we supply the key of the connection string in an environment variable then it will get the connection string containing that key However, if we do not supply any name, then it will return the connection string with the key name of connection strings MBC demo. So with this, we can use our extension method in our startup class. So let's copy the name of our extension method since it's a bit long. So from here, now we can replace this and use our configuration property configuration dot 
get connection string from environment and let's bring the namespace in this case I'm not supplying any parameter to this method so if we don't supply any parameter then it will return the connection string with this default connection string mbc demo key from the environment variable so with this let's restart our server and see if it's working it's still working what's wrong Press. and of course this is still working let's register the new user just to check if it's working test 3 at gmail.com And here we have registered successfully registered the new user so with this uh, by adding this method and making this as extension method we can use this method reuse this method uh, any number of times we want or we can even reuse this method in another applications in future all right that's it for this demo I'll see you soon